We're taking a live look right now at Trump Tower this morning, where President Trump will leave for court soon. His hush money trial picks back up in its fourth week. Today's agenda, highly anticipated. Prosecutor star witness and Mr. Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, is set to take the stand. All are waiting to see what bombshell testimony he may provide. News Nation's Caitlin Becker is outside the courthouse this morning. Caitlin, today could be a turning point in this case. It's going to be a day. Michael Cohen, we're hearing, is already in the courthouse behind us. He managed to slip past all the media out here going in a back door. Donald Trump will be making his way down here soon. And this is the day everybody's been waiting for, Nick. Michael Cohen on the stand, Trump's former fixer and the prosecution's star witness, will testify about his role in these hush money payments that were made to Porn star Stormy Daniels that are really at the heart of this entire case. Now, since the start of this whole trial several weeks ago, Cohen's testimony has really been seen as sort of the grand finale. So we're expecting prosecutors to be really winding things down after this. And as they wrap things up, here's where we stand in week four. 15 days into this hush money trial, there have been 10 gag order violations so far against Trump, costing him $10,000 in fines. 19 prosecution witnesses have testified so far. We have two that remain, Michael Cohen being one of them. I anticipate the other one maybe before him. 221 pieces of evidence were entered into the record. Stormy Daniels was our last big blockbuster witness. She was questioned on the stand for seven and a half hours. I am anticipating Michael Cohen's testimony to be even longer than that. Now, he, of course, worked as an attorney for Trump from 2006 to 2018, but his role was really more of a right-hand man for Donald Trump, kind of stepping in to just do whatever he needed doing. And this included, and this is key, acting as part of that catch-and-kill scheme between Trump and the National Enquirer ahead of the 2016 election. Now, his testimony today will be crucial for prosecutors. The former president is on trial, remember, for facing 34 charges of falsifying financial records. These records were billed in Trump organization ledgers as legal expenses paid out to Michael Cohen. Now, Donald Trump has always maintained that is all these things were, but prosecutors say the payments were really reimbursements to Michael Cohen for purchasing Stormy Daniels' silence about her alleged affair with Donald Trump. She testified to that last week on the stand. Most importantly, though, the DA needs to prove to the jury that all all of these things, the catch and kill, the payments, the Stormy Daniels, all of it was done in order to hide that story from the voters ahead of the election. Now, the only two people in the world who can speak with any authority about what these payments were really about are Donald Trump, and we know where he stands on them, he says they're legal expenses, and Michael Cohen. And he is going to take the stand today to tell you what he believed that these were for. But an issue that prosecutors are going to have is Michael Cohen's credibility. He's not a very likable witness. He is a convicted felon. He's been disbarred. And he's pretty noisy about Donald Trump publicly. The judge has already warned him not to talk about him. So he's going to get on the stand, and the Trump defense team is going to be ready to shred his credibility at every single chance they're going to get. The Stormy Daniels testimony was pretty fiery. Michael Cohen is going to be fireworks, Nick. Caitlin, uh, even though he's the prosecution's witness, he's known to ramble a bit also, isn't he? He is known to ramble a bit, and he's an attorney. So like we saw with Keith Davidson, he's probably going to try to lawyer from the stand, and that really annoys Judge Juan Marchand. So I expect him to be stepping in, just like he did with Stormy Daniels, to be instructing Michael Cohen to answer the questions that are asked. News Nation's Caitlin Becker with it all this morning from Manhattan. Caitlin, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.